right, so I'm back, and last night I took a look at the um, Combined Wars Superion, and uh, a lot of people messaged me uh, that I did something wrong with the uh, drag strip and why I couldn't use him as a leg. So I just wanted to do this quick video to show, yes, I was wrong. You guys were right. So uh, thank you, because that was really actually bug bugging me. So, so what we want to do here is pull him off and um, we'll start configuring him more into leg mode so rotate the waist like this this will collapse down like so uh, and then you can take the arms here and you can just fold them back in as if you're going in, into the uh, race car mode Fold the connector point up. And now this is where I was like, oh, well, if I make this a foot, it's actually too uh, tall to be a foot. Or too long to be a foot. And I'll, uh, here, I'll show you what I was talking about. So you reconfigure that into foot form. Plug it out on the bottom. And we'll take uh, this guy off and put him on. And if he's standing flat, you know, you've got all the space right here. Um, otherwise he stands like that. So I was like, man, you know, I can't do it as, I can't do him that as a foot. It, it just, it won't work. Well, uh, quite a few people both, um, posted in the comments and sent me, um, emails. Uh, but what we've got to do is just take this piece here and this will fold up like that uh, I never would have guessed that actually um, I, I, I am amazed that they actually thought that through I guess we could take his uh, sword thing here can we plug that in here no All right. All right. now we can and now they're perfectly even which is awesome so we're gonna take him Legs, bring them back down. See, and then we want to take these arms here and they rotate so that they're back here like this. Uh, there's a little slot right here, they'll peg into there, so you just kind of want to angle it around till you get it in there and I, I like to put the wings back into the uh, robot mode configuration for this one um, just to kind of keep them up and out of the way and like so and then we can take the hand flip out the fingers plug that in and now we have him back into combined mode with drag strip as a leg, which I actually prefer this way now. Um, because as far as I'm concerned, as of right now, this is an incomplete combiner. The um, Alpha Bravo should be replaced and he should be replaced right away. So as soon as the uh, second set... Um, second set of deluxe come out I'll, re I'll replace him obviously and put him in Minasaur and then replace Alpha Bravo as soon as the slingshot comes out um, so that's that's my goal um, but I mean, you know because he stands on my shelf behind a bunch of other um, transformers so you know you kind of kind of hides the bottom half so it, it works real well for me Again, I, I still love this thing. So thanks, guys, for pointing out my error. Um, I'm always happy to learn from my mistakes. Uh, if it if it truly is a mistake, sometimes you guys point out mistakes I make that aren't actually mistakes, and it's some flaw in the figure. But uh, this was a mistake on my part. I did not know that, and now I do. So thank you guys very much for pointing it out. Um, 
And we'll just kind of arm him up a little bit more. You can't have too many weapons. Um, but yeah, all, all in all, I still love this figure. I'm very happy I have him. Um, I think this is just a sign of what's going to come. Um, rumor is we're going to get a uh, Defensor. Um, it's almost confirmed at this point that we're going to be getting one. And also a... Um, we know we're getting the Devastator um, and Minasaur. I still think that uh, we'll get a, a Bruticus from it. Uh, and somebody was somebody was saying uh, potentially a Predaking is in the rumors too. Uh, quite frankly, I think what they should do is just re re reissue the. Um, uh, G1 uh, again, but this time reissued as uh, Voyager figures and just have a standard release. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, great way to boost the Combiner Wars with something that's still very awesome, being the G1 Predaking. So. Oh, and one more size comparison while I got this guy out. I forgot to do this yesterday. <coughs> Here he is with the uh, Veronicon G1, a G1 combiner, and this is actually one of the bigger of the of this style combiners. Um, uh, obviously, he's not as big as Predaking, but he was one of the bigger ones because he's got more mass to him, and he has the whole Transformer as a target master. So, so yeah, definite improvement here. So.